Basic programs are stored in memory using a simple structure that we can investigate and manipulate. I'm going to show how they're stored and demonstrate the program that's currently running, going through each line of its own code and displaying how it's stored in memory. A good understanding of how BASIC is stored can help us to find novel ways to get the most out of BASIC and to leverage the power of the BASIC interpreter. We've seen this in a previous video about storing machine code in REM statements. A BASIC program looks like the following in memory. So it consists of a series of BASIC lines where each line has a link to the next line in memory and then a line number and then one or more BASIC statements and at the end of the line it's indicated by a zero byte and then the end of the program is indicated by two zero bytes in the next line link. In order to reduce the storage requirements of a BASIC program and to speed up the interpreter, BASIC statements are condensed using tokens. So the table here shows the tokens used by Commodore BASIC version 2. And where tokens aren't used, then Petsky takes its place in the case of comments, variable names, numbers and so on. To see the full table of tokens, have a look at the associated article on the Tech Tinkering website. Our program to show the layout of a basic program in memory begins at line 100. So we'll prepend that starting at line 10 with a simple two line program and have a look at how that looks in memory. If we run this program now, we can see it display each line of the basic program followed by its structure in memory. So this is running on an unexpanded VIC-20 and therefore basic starts at location 4097 decimal 1001 hex. So the first word in there is the next line link, which is 4113. And if we look at the end of the line, uh, we can see the end of that line is at 4112. And therefore the next byte is 4113, which will be line 20 of our program. We're back to the start. So we've got the li next line link. And then the following word is the line number, line 10. And then we have the token for rem, which is decimal uh, 143. That would be 8f in hex. And then the rest of this is uh, stored in Petsky. So we have the uh, space character followed by A, followed by space, and then comment stored one character at a time, and then zero to indicate the end of the line. If we turn to line 20 now, this line is a little bit more complicated. So we can see that this starts at 4113, which was at the next line link in line 10. And then the next line link for this one is 4127. If we look at the bottom of the line, again, the last entry on this line is 4126, which is the end of line marker. And then the next byte would be 4127. So after the next line link, again, we have the, uh, the line number, which is line 20. And then we have the Petsky character for N. And then we have a token, uh, 178. And then that's for equals. And then we're back to Petsky again for the digit 4 which is uh, 52, and then back to a token, 172 for the asterisk, and then back to Petsky for uh, 3 colon, so that's 5158, and then a token again for print, which is 153, back to Petsky for the space character, followed by the N in Petsky, and then finally the end of line as a zero. So we'll break out of this program now, and then I'm going to load up Vicmon to show this more clearly. In particular, I want to show the end of program marker, which I can't show for this little program because the end of program marker would actually be on the end of the whole basic program, which wouldn't be at the end of line 20. I've plugged in the Vicmon cartridge, reset the Vic, and we'll enter our short basic program again. And now if we start Vicmon, and have a look at the memory. We're going from location 1001, which is 4097 decimal, to 1020, which is the last location in the basic program. If we have a look at the first two bytes, 1110, well that's the next line link. It's stored least significant byte, most significant byte, so that's actually 1011. And then the next two bytes, 0A00, that's the line number, Again, least significant, most significant, so that's actually 000A, so line 10. And then 8F was the RAM token, and then that goes through just as before. It's the same bytes as before. The only thing I really wanted to show is the locations at 101F and 1020. And you can see that we've got the two zeros to mark the end of the program there. So that's the next line link, and then that's the end of the program. We can see that next line link being pointed to from location 1011, uh, 1012, so that's on the line starting at 1010, so it goes 00, which was the end of line marker, 
at the end of line 10, and then 1f10, which is the next line link, which is actually 101f. And then as we look at 101f, we can see two zeros at 101f and 1020, indicating the end of the program. I'll return to the basic program displaying its structure in memory. This program is listed on the accompanying article on the Tech Tinkering website with also the full list of tokens that are used by basic version 2. There are more videos about the VIC-20 on the Tech Tinkering YouTube channel. Uh, it'd be great if you subscribed and let other people know about it.